diving for pearls is such a, a haphazard and uh, serendipitous, it just, just doesn't pay to do it. But occasionally these amazing pearls come up at auction, including this uh, peregrina pearl that uh, Richard Burton bought for uh, Elizabeth Taylor for Valentine's Day. Cleopatra, Siren of the Nile. was found off the coast of Panama by a slave um, in about 1550, and he was given his freedom for finding this pearl. This was about as big and as good as they got. Anyway, we sold it at auction, and Elizabeth uh, Taylor was the lucky winner of this. I mean, not that she bid on it, but uh, Richard Burton did. And I, uh, I brought it out. They were staying at Caesar's Palace making a film. And the white Rolls Royce from Caesar's Palace picked me up, and. Uh, brought it there and we all celebrated with uh, a drink called a salty dog which I'd never had before. I think it was clam juice and vodka. It was, it was awful, but uh, we had a good time. Anyway, this, this pearl that had this amazing history, Henry VIII, uh, Philip of Spain, uh, Napoleon, uh, I mean, everybody owned it at one time or another. And uh, I heard Elizabeth go, oh my God. And I said, uh, what's wrong? She said, I've lost it. And, well, you can imagine the first place we looked, but it wasn't there. And uh, I don't know if you've ever been to uh, uh, Caesar's Palace, but the, the suites have very, very thick pink shag carpet. And we're all down on our hands and knees crawling around looking for this pearl. I went by a little faux French settee, and under the settee was this white Lhasa Apso. Elizabeth had two of them. And it was chewing on something, and I thought, I know where the pearl is, and I reached in towards the dog, and I thought, no way. So I went over and told her, and she picked the dog up, and it <coughs> spit the pearl out, and it just had little, little tiny marks on it. But all I could think of was, you know, it survived wars and, you know, 500 years of history.